Hello, people of the internet! Welcome to Guitar Stuff episode number nine. I want to have like an intro. Anybody uh, listen to the Devin Townsend podcast? Devin had the most insane intro. He had this, like, this amazing, the Devin Townsend podcast! I want something like that too. Something like, Guitar Stuff episode! Oh, but then, nine! Or something. Honestly, I'm way too tired to record this episode because I just came back from like a studio job, uh, a giant recording session, um, and then I um, was coordinating two drummers in my music school for more recordings <clears throat> and my voice suffered today. But I drove back home and while I was driving, you know, I'm like, do, 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 and I thought about what to talk about on episode number nine, and honestly, it dawned on me. Alternate picking. Alternate picking is a topic that deserves way more attention, especially when you get started with it, um, because people think alternate picking is down, up, down, up, down, up, no matter what, and it's wrong. So I'm gonna explain it to you. There are different styles of picking techniques, right? There's sweeping, there's alternate picking, there's the economical picking. Blah. Alternate picking stands for, yes, using downstrokes as well as upstrokes. What it does not mean is, whatever notes there are, you're always gonna go down, and the next one's gonna be up, and the next one's gonna be down. And this is the giant mistake, which people mostly, I don't know why, a lot of times, don't really teach. If you have a bar in a time signature 4-4, four, four, you're gonna count to four. If you have quarter notes, it's gonna be one, two, three, four. Just like my hand, it's going down, 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 down. Meaning, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. As soon as you go into smaller notes, like eighth notes, and this is music theory, I know, and everybody's like, oh, ugliness approaches. No, it's not, because the music theory is the same for every instrument. It's like the dough of the cake. You know, you can build different cakes, chocolate cake or cheesecake, whatever. The dough kind of is the same. That was a bad example. Anyway, moving on. If you would move on to smaller notes, like eighth notes, you would go like one and two and three and four and one. And just like my hand, you would play one and two and three and four and one and two and oh god, I can spot a cookie. One and two and three and hi cookie. Anybody seen the um, the documentary? There's this channel called Cuddle Buddies on YouTube, and they made a documentary. Yes, yes, and they made a documentary about this one. You're famous now. Oh, okay. And everybody's like, oh, ugliness approaches. Okay, moving on. Now you have uh, with the eighth notes, which is the smallest note that we have so far. It's down, up, down, up, down, up. Very easy to understand because all the num. <laughs> yes. Yes, 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 Cookie, it's okay. They understand. It's easy. The numbers go down, the ends, yes, 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 yes. down and down and down. <laughs> Cookie, <laughs> down and one and two and three and four and one, right? I'm teaching. Can you not sit here? Can you go somewhere else, Cookie? If you now create a group of, let's say, a quarter note, Eighth, 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 eighth quarter note, right? It would be one, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. You wouldn't go one, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. So as you can see, like the one and the two are downstrokes, both down and not down up. Oh, okay. And everybody's like, oh, ugliness approaches. So the rule is not alternate picking means down, the next one up, the next one down, the next one up. Uh, um, the micro timing, like the micro notes, like the smallest possible note within your rhythm. If you, let's say, have a rhythm that is quarter note and then four eighth notes and then one quarter note, the smallest note is an eighth. And the eighth note 
does define how your alternate picking goes. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. Oh, okay. And everybody's like, oh, ugliness approaches. As soon as you can see a rhythm played by the right hand, because the right hand stops. I'm a spider, I'm a cat. Exactly. Is it a 16th note? Is it an 8th note? Is it a like a quarter note? And that, whatever the smallest note is from the micro counting, the micro timing, the micro notes, is your definition of your um, alternate picking pattern. If I go 16th notes, right? Metalheads, listen. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two daga 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 down up down up down up down up. Out of a sudden, the the alternate picking from the downstroke on the end, which is the third sixteenth note, when we go back to the eighth pattern, is like down up. Ugh, ugliness approaches. But when I have sixteenth notes the and is going to be a downstroke because it's going to be one a and a two a and a so if eighth notes are the smallest note in the grouping of your rhythm oh, ugliness it's down up one and two and three and four and if it's 16th notes it doubles the speed are you shitting you shit on my guitar! And I just bought you a gift. If your smallest note is 16th notes, the whole pattern changes. It's one a and a, two a and a. So the ands go down. Because if you play something like, you know, da, 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 down, 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 easy, easy, easy. But as soon as you go, down, dig the gaga, the gag down, dig the gaga, gaga, down, dig the gaga, gaga. That's no longer just down and the next one up and the next one down. You have to figure out the micro timing. So with down, dig the ga 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 da, dig the ga 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 da. It's the smallest note would be dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it, dig sixteenth notes. Sixteenth notes define that the numbers, the one, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, whatever, um, goes down, and the ants go down as well. Hey, and so it would be in slow, three, four, and one. da ka da ka 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 da da ka da ka 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 da um, The same thing goes for um, acoustic guitar rhythm playing, right? Same thing, you know, the, uh, you have a bonfire going on, you like have some s'mores and marshmallows and stuff and, and you just want to hang out and play Boulevard of Broken Dreams. <sighs> Sorry, nothing, I love Green Day. <laughs> I'm not saying that everybody has to do that, it's just my personal opinion that there are two main rhythms, one for slower songs and one for faster songs. Let me show you the rhythm for the slower songs first. One, two, three, four. One, two, and a three, four, and a one, two, and a three, four. I walk a lonely road, the only one that I have ever known. Great. Let me show you the pattern for the faster songs. One, two, three, four. Wrong would be one, two, three, four. So why do we have to learn alternate picking when it comes to playing solo notes or rhythm patterns? It's very easy. Reason number one, stability of your playing. Reason number two, groove, the most important. Reason number three, it's just less stressful is there a fourth one? Probably. If you uh, come up with a fourth reason why that is important to do, 
put it in the comment section. And also, dear people of the internet, please, please, please connect with my Discord server where I'm gonna provide additional answers to your questions. Video footage, whenever there are questions, I'm gonna do my very best to take a little bit of time and answer those questions, if you have any. I hope you don't, of course, but if you do, then just ask me. Get it? It's easy. See you next week. Bye. Uh, turn into Ola. <laughs>